Hey everyone, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Today we have a pretty massive test server patch to go over. Class balance changes for Draconia, Guardian, Corsair, Tamer, and Megu. A lot of classes also received a new passive, though don't get too excited. And we finally have the Era of Trade update coming. As always with these class balance changes, I've gone ahead and translated all the changes for you. So I'm going to leave you guys to check it out and then I'll be back to talk about the Era of Trade update.
Okay, so those were the changes to all those classes, like I said. In my little notes there with Megu, Megu's gonna be fine, even with these nerfs. Draconia was a little lacking, I thought, in the changes compared to the other classes. But overall, let me know what you think about the class balance changes for this week. What do you think about the passives? I think they're pretty uninspired. I was honestly expecting way more than that. And of course, let me know what class you hope to see get some class balance updates next week. Now on to Era of Trade. I'm pretty excited about this. The trading life skill is getting a complete revamp to be released in Korea in one to two weeks from now, possibly a global release. We don't know that for sure. Maritime trade is also going to be included in this revamp, though we don't have much information on that today. So what exactly has changed? What is going to change? You're now going to be able to trade new items within designated trade zones. You buy items from these base locations. These items are then stored in a new distribution center or logistics warehouse house they're calling it through the translation item value is guaranteed up to seven days when you first buy it and then three hours upon retrieving it from that warehouse the item price will fluctuate every four hours at random up to 300 percent the original price and then prices are the same across all channels so you don't have to channel hop every sunday there's also going to be an event that's going to occur that's going to drastically change the prices of items for each zone there's going to be npcs in each area that's going to talk and have special dialogue that will hint at which items will increase or decrease in value for this event. In terms of more additional information, so warehouse storage, that's going to exist at each base where the trade items can be purchased. The same name trade items with different warranty periods can be stored in the same warehouse. The number of inventory slots per warehouse is going to be five. I imagine there's going to be some cash shop way to extend that in the future. I just know it's going to be maximum weight per warehouse is going to be five thousand lt at the moment you can also stack multiple of the same name plus warranty items in the warehouse so five slots should be enough to get you started every four hours the price of an item will increase or decrease at a 50 percent chance if the item rises in price it can rise up to 50 percent in that refresh if instead that item decreases in price it can drop up to 15 percent in value in that refresh trade items will still adhere to the distance bonus so that's still exists. The bargain mechanic also still exists. The desert buff will be removed. Imperials remain the same. A new byproduct has been added and a new promotion quest has been added for trading as well. So that's the era of trade information we know right now. Of course, next week, I'm sure it'll be fleshed out. Maybe they'll change some things. But apart from the era of trade, fishing hotspots have been improved and added for the spring season and the Calfian furniture workshops have been added to craft more of those cash shop furniture items using in-game items that's a really nice change and that's it for this one let me know what you're most hyped for from what you saw today what i talked about what would you like to see in next week's patch and as always thanks for watching thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one take care